the National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Wayne County in northeast Nebraska, northwestern Cumming County in northeast Nebraska, northeastern Stanton County in northeast Nebraska. Today, we're not going to be just discussing one tornado. That's right, we're going to be talking about two tornadoes. We're going to be talking about twins. We're going to be talking about two tornadoes for the price of one. Anyway, we are talking about the twin EF4 tornadoes in Pilger, Nebraska. With that being said, let's dive in. June 16th, 2014. Pilger, Nebraska. On this particular afternoon, cave values were beginning to increase early on. Wind shear was ideal, and a supercell had just developed west of Stanton that turned dangerous quite quickly. At 3.45 p.m., that same first tornado that landed near Stanton had just grown in size, turning into a violent wedge-shaped tornado, and it was heading right towards the town of Pilger, a small town in Nebraska. At around 4 p.m., something totally rare and unusual happened. A second tornado touched down right near the first vortex. So these two tornadoes were basically just rotating under the parent supercell as to speak. It's just something you don't really ever see very often. And this wasn't just a satellite tornado. Both were equally powerful on their own. They, they weren't just cousins, they were twins. And they moved in kind of a synchronized spin side by side. In many cases, this would be classified as satellite tornado, but this situation was totally different. To describe a satellite tornado, basically a smaller tornado has to develop near a larger, stronger, more dominant tornado within the same mesocyclone rotating around it. So these twins were basically just so powerful individually. They were carving a path of total destruction that you wouldn't see with just a weak satellite tornado. And the craziest part about these twins, they really lived up to the name twins. They were both rated EF4, so they had the same strength, same size, and essentially were going the same path, so they were actually twins. Locals and storm chasers alike couldn't believe what they were seeing. They were seeing such a rare meteorological event happening in front of them. At around 4.06 p.m., that first cyclone would just tear through the small town of Pilger, Nebraska. Homes in the area would be totally destroyed. Uh, middle school actually was totally flattened. Vehicles were tossed, grain bins from nearby farms just mangled, and whole blocks were just wiped away. Two people would lose their lives in the storm, and the storm also left about 20 people injured. For a town consisting of only 350 people, this was just absolutely devastating and life-changing for everybody involved. These storm chasers had gotten such incredible once-in-a-lifetime footage of these twins. They got footage of them just tearing through farmlands and headed right into the small town of Pilger. Radar showed very intense rotation with both storms individually, and in a lot of the footage you could see the power flashes were just lighting up the darkening sky of that night. From ground level, these two tornadoes just looked menacing and massive, and they were just so identical, and they actually, like, had the same coordinated path. It's like they were they were in, like, a coordinated dance together, so to speak. Many storm chasers even claim, to this day, this was the most surreal experience that they've ever had in their lifetime, that they've never seen anything like this before the Pilger tornadoes and after. Today, the small town of Pilger has significantly rebuilt their town, slowly but surely, but they got there since this outbreak happened. Much like the scars remain from the tornado, a lot of emotional and physical trauma remains on the people who survived this storm, and that's not something they'll soon forget. And that's a wrap on the 2014 Pilger, Nebraska Twin Tornadoes. Such a rare and scary event that leaves you wondering, what does Mother Nature have in store for us next? Until then, I will see you guys next week. Bye! Thanks for watching!